and she need an urgent so, so, uh, surgery that will cost like five million i've sent half the remaining money i've sent to them still the money is not complete for the surgery for the surgery for okay. my mom to be alive okay. a lot of things has been happening to me as i'm standing here inside my body is hurting me okay. like i don't know what is wrong with me <laughs> My head sometimes as if I'll lose focus. I will not remember anything again. <laughs> it's as if I'm going crazy. Hello, people. This is your boy Skitlo Comedy, aka the next governor. Um, today again, we don't touch you can do that one. Sabi do text. Um, today matter a chop belefu. Like today matter overfeeding. They worry this very issue. This matter not be any other matter, but still the same matter. Yes, if you are throwing up my program. You will know this lady here. This is lady that came to us that she has been sleeping with her best friend's husband for money. That there is this project she wants to start up, which she needs 8 million naira to set it up. She didn't tell us the particular project, what that project is all about. But after narrating this story, she said that her mind is telling her, her consciousness is telling her to stop. But her mind is telling her not to stop until she gets that 8 million naira. And already, she don't get 4.5 million naira from this said man, her best friend's husband, as per se. That is what she said to us. So after narrating this her story to us, I brought my Sia into it. Sia advised her and told her to stop. That there is something that is about to befall her if she do not stop this very thing she is doing. And I added that she should go and confess to her best friend. But in all this thing, she didn't even listen to what Sia said not to talk of listening to my own. She said she was not going to do anything that she is not ready to stop until she get that 8 million naira. In fact, she said what she came here for. She let her told her that what she came here for is how we will stop her best friend from coming to her dream, from disturbing her in the dream. That that is the only thing she wants from us. And we told her that very day that we cannot do so that if she wants that thing to stop she should stop what she's doing with her best friend husband but she insisted and said no omo you know do three days this young lady called me on the phone and was crying lamenting and saying all sorts of things i told him there is nothing i can do for him oh. he begged begged i said well, come let's see see her Come and tell Sia this thing. Let us hear what he has to say concerning what you said that is happening. I tell him, say, Shabi, you remember what Sia tell you that very day you were just saying that you will not stop. She said that is the reason why she started calling me, that she remember that thing. Why all this thing started happening, she, that she remember that thing and decided to reach out to me. But without wasting anybody's time, make it nobody like saying I made a turn on this story. Let's go and meet this young lady here so that she will narrate this story to you guys exactly the same way she said it to me over the phone that made me to ask her to come down to this place. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Um, How are you doing? I'm not fine. Please don't cry. Hmm? Stop crying. I don't like seeing tears. Just stop crying. Hmm? Okay, um, sister, you already know how we do it here. Behind you, there is camera. We are recording this program and the world is watching. With me here is that my same Sia, who by grace of God sees secret and deep things and he also knows when someone is telling lies. So please, this thing you said to me over the phone that made me to ask you to come down to this place, like see Sia. Please, I would want you to say it so that Sia and the world will hear it to know the advice or solution he has to give to you concerning what is happening. Thank you. I don't know. The thing started after that day I left here. So the next day, because 
you know i told you there's a project okay. i want to start that project is a boutique business okay so i want to start it in a big in a bigger way okay so there is this plaza that came out so i went and paid for three shop like three big shop okay. so I, what i paid for that shop is f um, 2.5 million okay so all of a sudden <laughs> just for me to go there okay so when i want to start out when i went there i was surprised to see another people working on that same place that i paid for for real yes why so when i told them that i paid for this this place already that i've already paid for these three shops they told me that i don't know what they're talking about they brought some receipt and showed me and they they now told me that i should check the person i sent the money to or for me to confirm that i sent that money to a wrong person thinking is the landlord of the shop for real so this is how my 2.5 million just just go like that <laughs> just calm down hmm? put yourself together don't cry don't cry relax hmm? relax so okay okay that's not all okay after two days of having that same issue i received a call that my mom is sick okay yes and she need an urgent so, so, uh, surgery that will cost like five million for real yeah. Okay. okay from the money i got from that my girlfriend's husband okay. i've sent half the remaining money i've sent to them still the money is not complete for the surgery for the surgery for okay. my mom to be alive okay. a lot of things has been happening to me okay. as i'm talking to you i'm not fine i'm not okay as i'm standing here inside my body is hurting me okay. like i don't know what is wrong with me <laughs> my head sometimes it's as if i'll lose focus i'll not remember anything again <laughs> it's as if i'm going crazy <laughs> do you know the worst thing again okay. <sighs> Calm down. put yourself together stop crying you will not understand <laughs> i understand just i can imagine just calm down okay? wipe your tears please i beg you wipe your tears put yourself together okay okay the okay the worst part of it is my house mm -hmm. where i'm living okay. yesterday i was surprised the, the lawyer came and served me paper they told me they give me three days to leave the place three days yes are you owing them i'm not owing them i don't know what's wrong with me and they are giving you three days three to pack days out to leave no that one is that one can't happen hmm? even if we don't have law in this country there is still law they cannot serve you paper and ask you to pack out three days without you owing them without your house rent not being due that is the one i know first okay no they said somebody reported me to them so i don't know what i did since then i'll be trying to talk to the owner of the place because the owner is a lawyer okay. he said there is nothing he can do that i have to leave the place for real yes it's what they are insisting that I must leave but not in three days that is what i'm saying even if you have to leave that place you have they have to give you time but from the what you are saying this thing is not ordinary yeah so you know it's not it has not been easy for me like i don't have anything on me again even the money i use in coming to this place i i borrowed from someone just to eat a transport oh. <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's happening to me i don't know yeah, i don't know i need help I'm not, I don't sleep again. Before it was nightmare, but now it's worse than nightmare. I don't sleep, all my body is hurting me. Inside my body is hurting me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Please, I need you to help me. I beg your seer to help me. Let me know the cause of this thing, please. <sighs> all right. Calm down. Hmm? Put yourself together and stop crying. Hmm? Stop crying. People you guys heard her story like seriously <laughs> her crying is really, really touching me this thing is touching me deep down inside of me this is exactly the same way she was crying when she called me on the phone days ago like seriously that was why i said come Let's see her hear this your issue. 
But I do not end the call until I reminded her, do you remember what Sia told you that very day you came to this place? She said yes. And I said, why did you pay deaf ears? She said that she did not know what came over her. Yes, that now she is regretting. I said, okay, it is not in my power to do anything for her. I'm not a spiritual person. Yes, this is my program, but I am not a spiritual person. Is Sia doing the main work here? I asked her to come down so that we will look into it. I feel so much pity for her in as much as she disobeyed us that very day. She disobeyed Sia and said so many things. But I feel so sorry for her. I can imagine what she is going through. She paid for shop to the wrong person. Her mother wants to undergo surgery that will cost 5 million. And the last money remaining from the 4.5 million she collected from the man, the best friend husband she has sent to the hospital. They are asking her to leave her house in three days. She is not mentally stable. You can hear her tears. Ne, calm down. Hmm? Calm down. I want to talk to Sia so that we will hear what Sia has to say concerning this. Okay, please. Yes. People, without wasting anybody's time, I want to bring Sia into this issue. Let's hear what Sia has to say concerning it. Sia, ekene kwa ngin kuku. Biko mo takiri mwa anya. Biaburu. Efaye na mbwe gara aga. Sere na oni edina. Diye nye mwa ye. Maka yigo chori yi wete na akayabu woke. Bu 8 million naira. Oporum na ba nina. Oni mo ne gara aga. Ne e ba akwa. Ne e kwentim. Na asimu, ni ezi aga rozi kwa nuhu kwa kwa, ni ezi aga rozi kwa 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 ni ime yiye si ya sege me, o si na omari yiye batari ya ni ime me eno, kwe lo kuna oge me ya biye. O si eko ona. Ko kuchiri ya unwe si ya unwe ya biya, eba na uri ye mame me uri ya, no si ya uri ki me uri ya obona. Unwe si ya biya, eba ko obya guwai, ihe ne me, ko uku ya biye nantege, ko wano kwa no ya biye. O si eko ona robo si ya, Kachi ne ifu. Ose ke oge ebo kuro wo shop. Na yabu project ona wwa eno ona achi ibido. No. Afi akwa. Kwa chori ibido zo wankendo ibo na po butik. Ose kwa noga kuro wo shop ato. Nke potalo 2.5 milyon naira. Manana oga le ba ahon. Ofu ubosin. Koga, ope ba, mali yoge, mewe ni me ba. Kone rute, owefu no wendo ozo, nona yabu shopo na aru oro. Uwe juba zi ya keye ne men, no kugu uwe ba, nda hasi ya na hasi, na ha mali yona ako. No hawa bindi uwe ba, no hawa bindi kuru uwe ba. Uwe chiputa risiti gosia. Ewe si ya yao cheki yoyo kuru uwe eba. Osi no wo cheki ya biye a chowari wa wo chopo tano wo ya koro gwo. Bo yo li. No buru e wo e ba anko koro gwo. Ya bu. Iye nka asyo ta an de ba. Osi no ma lo ko di ya mbo si an. Osi kane kuche ya biye. A bo ya na foun. Na ra de le mye. No age mye operation. Nke ga e riye. Five million naira. Osi na ego nke fola afone ego na talo di e nye wanyan. Uwe liye kuye nundu no ogu. 
kene wego di miya ya kon hafi yin wun otoro ko wwe di ihe meri niya. Osi ino kusro kwe ba. Na aruye ni ni ima aruye ni 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 ipo okon. No mari yi ni miya mancha mancha. No no kato ni miya kona ache ipo ala. No wata lodi kusi we ni miya mancha mancha. Osi ino kusro kwe ba. Na abani umi karagaka, ewe teri ya kukone ibu ubi. Uwe siye ne yeri abani eto, isi eba uwe po. Hey, mbwa anga kamu malo. Na, ukuwa da harigo. Mbwa anga kamu mani ihe ne eme, abugi ihe mmo. Osi no ya miroji uwe bela wako uwe bia kuta eno bose nge ta. Na gibi kona inye laka ya opake. Kiye no ni aka. Kiye maru ki ige si bucheri ya ya bi hene me nandu ya. Nagi biko. Mwere ya zgi biko do 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 netu fulogo obuna. Nebe go daya na ya bi hene. Kiye ma gudure ebe miri si wwe ba no piyo bo gire. Nandu ya bo wanta kire nwa e ne ba. Manga po kwe gwage. Manse na ma wata bi hene e men. A wata kwa na mi hene e men. Beti nchok ko si no no ge. Uwe pota, kwa wani ine uwe enuru ii uwe riku wa eri ya ni mi watakere wa ya. Ekene kwa ngi nku uku. Ok, Sia wants to say something. Si ya biko gani ilu bwamu ee choputa na ya bihe ana mege nti. Ndi ibo. Tuli ino se. Na iji jinti ike. Nesu kwa nozu. Ana mo. Si ya se that. There is an adage that say that the stubborn fry follows the corpse to the grave. Si ya na manu hii neku. Mbe wangu nyabu mwata wanyi bia na mbo. Agwa kwa miya. Sia, ni ingwe like Tupu echi Anelu Nuga ya lozu kwa ade Ni ingwe abu yoge je kwa mengwa ngwa Makosi ya abu Nya bi yone eme Sia said that he can remember that when this young lady Came to us for the first time That he told this young girl That She should go And stop what she is doing That tomorrow my be too late that the next day might be too late from what he's seeing. See, I'm again to him. When you want to kill him, when you want to fight him, you want to do it. You want to fight him. No, see, I said I should tell you that there is nothing we can do for you. No, no, please. Please, I'm sorry. Let me beg you, see, please. Please, I cannot go like this. I don't want to die. I don't want anything to happen to me because. <laughs> Calm down. I'm Calm sorry. Down. I promise I'll never go go close to that man again. <laughs> Calm down. Relax. Relax. Calm down. Hey, God. Omo. I don't even know what to say. I'm short of words. I'm so, so short of words. See, ya biko, nyabu mwa takine nwa ye na yo biko. Ose biko. Nagi meri e belen. Ni yo ne kwa ye mkwa bu no mangazin so. Ebe ya bu di u e nye nwa ye na ozo. Nagi biko meri e belen. Dika mo si kuo. Odero kwa no mna ka. Okay. Mana, nya buono dono ni imia. Okay. Bunya wajio mia. Okay. Mne, stand up. Just stand up. Stand up. Eh? Okay. See, I said, just like he said, eh? That what is happening to you is not in his hands. Hmm? He's not in his position to do anything for you. That you are the one holding yourself in this very condition you are in. See, I'm again to hear you. Um, 
Iye nyabu mwata kili mwa nye yeme mm -hmm. Masala ono duwa ono Ok Kuna nkembo Ok Kuna oge jekulu nyabu wa ya mwa nye Ok Kupute Njoni ina Iye ni ina one eme Nyana dia Nebe nyabu mwata kili mwa nye no Ok My siya said That the first thing you have to do now Is to go to this your best friend and confess confess to her tell her what has been going on between you and the husband remember that before she had told you to stop he never asked you to go and confess i was the one that told you to go and confess because he believed that only if once you stop all these things will go off then maybe probably because you know that if you go to your friend to confess you will scatter her home or something but now it has resulted to something else and it has came to the point him asking you to go to that your best friend to go and confess eh see ana manu hi na eku o no do ono mhm bokwa na akwa alele mhm nyabu enyi anwa anyi be okay bi ye do wele ana ono do maka na nyabu di nwa anyi ana ro ze ne ten di bi anya maka na o welu lo bi ana ine do se na ebe nyawa no no nyawa bi ye melo ye ni na jiwe bi do me bi we onyawa melo njiwe na agwe ya ko je mege ni ko rap nya bi ye ona eme magba nwe ndu ya okay tia said that this condition that this thing that is happening to you now is happening because of the tears of that your best friend that this your best friend has been crying to god praying because her husband is no longer taking care of them the way he used to take care of them. Eh? That that was why, because this man's heart and everything now lies with you. And okay, it's true. Yes, because she she's always complaining about her husband not taking care of them again. So each time she's saying that, and that's when I'll start feeling uncomfortable. I'll just leave her and go. Okay. That is the cause of what is happening to you. Hmm? Yes. It is because of the cry of that girl that what is happening to you is happening to you. See, I said that that is the reason why he told you that you should stop. You should stop immediately because tomorrow might be too late. And look at the 4.5 million naira is gone. Yet what is happening to you is still happening to you. Eh? And who knows what is going to happen next? Please, I'm sorry. People should forgive me. I promise I'll I will not do it again. I will not go close to him again. As I'm leaving this place, I will delete and block his number. I promise I will not go close to him again. Please. Nah. You, are, you don't need to beg us. Even see how you say I should help you and beg. Sia is not the one behind what is happening to you. Yes, I am not the one behind what is happening. The person be the person you should be begging is your best friend and God. These are the people that you owe apology and not us. See, I'm not here now. We are now. Nya bunwa ni. Mhm. Bokwa nara oba halu ya. Okay. Iye ni ino na gabiga gadacho. Okay. See, I said I should tell you that. Once this your best friend forgives you that all these things you are passing through will stop automatically. Yeah? It, just to tell you that it is karma at work. Karma is what is doing you what is doing you. Karma just wants to take away that money from you. That is how karma works. He will raise his stand, he will raise things. Once karma wants to start working, yeah. It will start working in different ways that you will be spending. Okay, imagine this 4.5 million naira. She spent it in the uh, some in the hospital, some renting a shop, and the rest of them. Now she's sick. She's like sometimes she's like going mental, going crazy. Eh? That is it. So ne, she has said, go to this your best friend, confess to her, let her forgive you, and once she forgive you, all this thing troubling your life right now we come to an end that is it okay see i said that is all he has to say 
concerning this. Do you have anything to say? Yes. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how to meet my girlfriend. But truly, inside me, I'm deeply sorry. I'm very sorry for everything I did to her and her family. But I don't know how to meet her because I'm scared. I don't want us to quarrel. And I don't want to lose my best friend. You should have thought of this thing when you started this issue. Before starting this thing with her husband. The thing is that she has spoken. If you want to continue with this thing that is happening around you fine and good no, I don't want to continue. then the only option she gave to you is to go and confess to this lady let her forgive you and once she forgive you everything will be fine no, that is what she has said no problem i will but please uh, i don't know if you help me or maybe you can go with me and beg her you want me to go with you yes okay after this program we'll talk about that eh? let me check my schedule and see what i can do for you, hmm? thank you so no problem thank you. no problem thank it's okay thank just you. stand up it's okay just stand up hmm? stand up okay people you guys have heard this story you've heard her issue i beg let's be mindful of the things we do because tomorrow is pregnant and nobody knows what it will give birth to had it been this young lady here listening to what she has said to her she wouldn't be in this situation she is right now i am just imagining how her best friend will feel or how she will see her after confessing this thing to her I wonder what is going to happen in this family. But I pray that God will take control. Yes. I am telling you the gospel truth. Please, if you know that thing you are doing that is not good, stop it. There is something they call karma. And when karma come calling, my brother, even your pastor will not pray you out. Even that native doctor you trust in will not pray, uh, will not pray you out. Even that thing you believe you are worshipping will not save you from it. So be careful. Be mindful what you do. Because karma is never late. It can take karma 10 years to visit you. It can take karma five seconds to come one second one hour two days weeks months to come but once karma arrives karma is unstoppable i am telling you the gospel truth so please let us be mindful of what we do and listen to your spiritual director when they tell you do this thing this way do it because I believe that any genuine spiritual father, any genuine prophet will never tell you to do something that will hurt you. They will always advise you in the things they see. And always remember that the spirit controls the physical. Yes. You've heard her story. You've heard how she came here crying. This wouldn't have been like this had it been she listening to what she has said and put it to work immediately. But no problem. Sia has directed her on what to do that after doing that, all this thing will come to an end. I just feel for the poor woman who is in the hospital that they say that they want to, that want to go undergo surgery. According to what Sia said, there is nothing like surgery. It's just karma taking this money from this person. Nne, please, you have to act so fast so that the doctors will not go and tear your mother in the name because of their want to do. Nothing is wrong with your mother. It is just karma at work. So please, act so fast on this. Mm? So please, that is it. Talk to your friend. Apologize to her. Even if I'm not available, go and apologize to her. Then if she did not listen to you, let me know. I will come with you. 
Yeah, just do your part yeah, and leave the rest to God so that all this thing happening around you will stop. So people, you guys have heard this story. You heard that story and you equally heard what he has said concerning it. So please, without wasting anybody's time, I want you to go to the comment section. Tell me what you feel concerning this very issue. But as you are commenting, comment respectfully. Don't forget to like and share after watching. And above all, subscribe to stay updated. As you continue to follow Scriptural Comedy to stay updated, as you continue to be a royal and faithful fan, may God bless you now and always. Amen. Now, you don't watch this program and you learn something from it. Please, I need your support. And the support I need from you is nothing but just to share this video. Make it go viral for the world to watch and learn. Yes. Let them watch and learn because a lot of people normally do what this girl do. We do this thing this girl did that resulted to what is happening to her right now. So please, share this video. Make it go viral for the world to watch and learn. As you are doing so, do not forget that we live in a cold world. We are best friend, by best friend. We are loved ones, by loved ones. We are those you trust so much betrays you. We live in a cold world where it is better to dine and wine with the enemy than to keep yourself to that bosom friend, that loved one, that person you call bestie that will end up to buy you tomorrow. Because now who know man? Now him they buy man. Even the Bible says it. Please do not misquote me or misunderstood me. Lada, click on the share button right now and share this video as many times as you can. And as you do so, Oga Adrege Maneke, Oga Adrege Manori, Oga Adrege Manafo, Oga Adrege Manampo, Ise.